this video will show you how this France was built. It was really fast, only a few hours. We didn't sign the contract with the contractor, the neighbor did. We only shared half of the price. But I like to share some of the things that wasn't in the contract. If you prefer your way of doing things, maybe the fence will last longer or maybe it's what you need. You need to write into the contract. So I just want to share a few things. The first thing is obvious from outside. There's a knot. While sometimes the knot give you the character, but like this particular knot, see this kind of particular knot, when I push it, it's loose. So that's not it. Sooner or later, once this shrink, the board shrink, this will come out. This knot is loose. You see, when I press it, it, it already went in. If I press all the way, it will come out. The tight knot is give you character, but this kind of is not a very good. The things you don't see from underneath also is important. How deep the post hole you should uh, dig, maybe you should write it into the contract. How do you pour the concrete? That also matter. Of course, some way it's a better result, but take much longer. Also in the contract, how much overlap this is. If you want to save the cost, you can have a fewer boards, but when this shrink, you will see the gap. So a privacy fence will no longer be a privacy fence anymore. The tools you need, you need a hammer, a metal saw, or a hand saw to cut the two by fours. And there's a neat tool you can use at the end. I have the nail, I have a nail here. The length of this piece of wood is the same length as this board. So when you use it, scrape the wood, it will make a mark. This will show you exactly where you should place your rail, for example, because you have a really repetitive boards you have to install. A tools like this come handy. Two feet. Two feet. Take a picture. Uh huh. <laughs> Those are meant to my friend. Two concrete. Two concrete. Expensive. Yes. Yeah, no good. No Five dollars. Uh, more. Ah, oh, so this is how you pour the More concrete. Strong. Oh, okay. This string is called a property line. So they have this line hold to the other end. So this is a, a property line. Concrete mix. You don't pour later. water later after yeah. the fence is on? Yeah. Oh, I see. The fence is on the slope, so this is a called a step style. When it complete, this is what it looks like. See, there's a groove here. You save.
First nail like this in. See, they're overlapping. Looks like what? About yeah. three inches or so. Yeah. Okay. See so how much they overlap. The nail, just regular nail, or yeah. special? Oh no, galvanized. Nail? Galvanized nails. Oh, okay, galvanized. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, it's like that. Okay. So it's straight? Okay. Vertical. You want to come back and put a concrete in the post? Oh. And come back another week? Yeah. This is a very quick way to install the fence. Lessons learned, when you do draw the contract, there are a few things you need to be aware. One is maybe you specify the depth of the post hole here. And the second is how the concrete is poured. This is just a dry mix and then add water when they complete. It's very fast, but other ways may last longer. 